we're talking about the Kalman decomposition. In the Kalman decomposition, then, we have four subspaces. Okay, we have the controllable subspace, C. We have the uncontrollable subspace, which is the complement of that. We have the observable subspace, O, and the unobservable subspace, O bar. So these, these two subspaces are, um, uh, the union of them is all of R and, and the intersection is only the zero element. Similarly here, the union of these two subspaces is all of our n, and the intersection is only the zero element. So we can actually pictorially draw these this way. So in terms of controllable, we have the controllable subspace and the uncontrollable subspace. And here I've shown them in half. Uh, in general, they wouldn't be in half. They would be, you know, this might be really small compared to this and so forth. The observability subspace uh, or observable subspace and the unobservable subspace. And so they're, they're independent properties because one is dependent upon A and B, the other is dependent upon A and C. And <clears throat> so, um, so they're basically independent properties. We can combine them and get four different um, sections. So this part, this subspace is both controllable and observable. This subspace is not controllable, but it is observable. This subspace is controllable but not observable. This is neither controllable nor observable. Each of these four sections has a basis. That is, there's a basis for each of these guys. So TCO is the basis for this subspace. TC bar O is the basis for this subspace, and so on. <clears throat> we can take these bases and put them together in a matrix. So Remember, a basis is for a subspace is just a set of linearly independent columns. Since each of these subspaces are independent of one another, this matrix uh, uh, is a basis for the entire space. And so this matrix is non-singular. So we can use that now to create a similarity transformation. So we take our system, we put it into the new coordinates, and when we do that, we're going to get something of this form. That is, I'm going to get a bunch of zeros coming out in various places. Okay, so notice this is a block triangularizing transformation. <clears throat> and so a block triangularizing transformation, and notice that I have zeros down here. That means my system is not controllable. I have a block triangularizing transformation. I have a zero here. That means my system is not observable. So we have controllable, not controllable, and observable not the observable subspaces. So, so, <clears throat> so each of this, these are the states for each of these sub parts of the system. This is the part that's controllable and observable. This is the part that's controllable, not observable, and so forth. And so we will basically get something of this form. So again, we have the different <clears throat> subspaces and these, these X's are in those subspaces. The controllable and observable part, controllable, not observable, not controllable, observable, neither controllable nor observable. Now, <clears throat> we have all these states, but the overall transfer function is given by this. Only the part that is both controllable and observable. So, <clears throat> we can illustrate that this way. I've Inside my system, I've decomposed it so that I have the different parts this part is controllable observable. So it's controllable in that the control signal actually enters this part of the system. Okay? It's observable because its output is seen in the out of the overall output. This part is not controllable because the input doesn't actually get there. And like uh, but it is observable because its output goes to the overall output. This part is controllable, but its output does not go to the overall output. This part is neither controllable nor observable. <clears throat> so a system can actually have all four of these parts. It might not have some of these parts. For example, it might not have it, it might not have any of these three. It might the system might be completely controllable and observable. So if we look at an example, here's a particular example for a system. It's kind of a large system. <clears throat> so these two we notice these two outputs are almost identical. The difference is that guy. 
If we go through and do the common decomposition using MATLAB, here's what we would have. Okay, and so A bar, B bar, C bar. <clears throat> we look at them now. So notice I have the zeros in those places that we expected. Okay, so, so we can use the command min, uh, min real, minimum realization. So this gives us the, um, this gives us the transformation matrix that does this. The uh, sys1r <clears throat> that's returned is actually the state space of the system with all the uncontrollable and unobservable parts removed. So <clears throat> this is the common decomposition. Next, we're going to be looking at the observability of the controllable canonical form.